Okay, so Kerry Grammar, where I went to school, made an announcement yesterday that as of next year, uh, girls, if they so choose, can wear boys' uniforms. So in summer, instead of wearing a dress, they can wear a, a, a blue shirt and, and, and grey shorts. And in winter, they can wear uh, a long sleeve blue short and long grey pants. Now, to me, this just seems a bit odd. I don't mind the idea of girls wearing pants or shorts. I understand why some of them might want to do so. But if you say to girls, you can wear the boys' uniform, fairly soon you'll get a boy who sticks up his hand and says, well, I'd like to wear the girls' uniform. And before you know it, you'll be sharing dressing rooms, changing rooms, toilets, and so forth. To me, that just seems wrong. Anyway, it's been a subject of intense discussion today. My wife, Elise Elliott, Herald Sun columnist, joins us now. Darling, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tom. Now, what do you think? Should our daughter, who is at Kerry, be allowed to wear the boys' uniform next year, if she so desires? Before we go there, can I say you're a very unattractive woman? I've seen you in a girl's uniform, a Kerry girl's uniform, on muck-up day, and yep. it's not a good look. There's a picture of me on our mm. uh, Facebook page, 3AW Drive with Tom Elliott. I did it for one day. Yeah, it's a bit what, of fun. That's what they all say. Never again. Okay, <laughs> what do you think, Alicia? Okay, back to Ava. Look... I think what's all the fuss about? Women have been comfortably wearing trousers for 100 years. Mm. Girls are more comfortable in, in shorts and trousers around the playground. And take our daughter, for instance. She had a, a, a upsetting episode where she was swinging in blissful ignorance on the monkey bars. Unbeknownst to her, her elastic-waisted pink Bonds undies had crept up or down. And uh, a lot of boys were making fun of her. And she said, that's it, mummy. I'm never going on the monkey bars again. I asked her, would she like to wear shorts? And she said, I would feel much better in shorts. There you go, from you. Right now, out of so, the mouth of babes. So both you and her daughter, Ava, think that she should wear the boys' uniform next year rather than the girls? I think she should have the choice. And this is what it's about, choice. No one is forcing the girls to wear shorts and pants, they've been given a choice and an option. And I think that's what we've got to keep in Should mind. Should boys be allowed to wear the girls' well, uniform? Funny you say that. I, I got cornered by the principal on the way out of the uh, school gate. And I said to him, will this open the way for boys wearing skirts and dresses? He said, oh, hmm. no, no. It but might. he did say that there's a boy at uh, another private school who does wear a uniform. And there's been a couple of requests at one of the uniform providers for dresses for boys Dresses as well. for boys. But he said, no, it doesn't. It's not taking gender fluidity too far. I mean, you can jump on that bandwagon and say, what's next? Unisex toilets. Boys will be wearing uniform, you know, dresses and skirts. I, I don't think that's the case. They'll be the sharing changing rooms, boys and girls, <laughs> showers. So I, I, I'll take a different view to you. And Tom, let's be honest, I wear the pants at home. Uh, oh, dear. So uh, okay, you, well, should, you should... Agree with me. I know you. One. I know you spoke to a lot of other parents today, both mums and dads. What was the consensus amongst the parents? Well, I, I was actually a lot of parents are shocked and upset by it. Yes. They, they, their main concern is it will look messy. Uh, a lot of tradition will be lost. Mm. They think the whole gender fluidity issue is being rammed down the kids' throats. That's right. At Safe an early schools. Age. Yeah. And and they wonder what is next. What mm. will happen next? Does this mean you have a carry uniform? And you can pick and choose bits of it you want. That's their concern. I don't think it will go that far. I and reckon I, it will. I guarantee you within a few years, a boy will put up his hand and say, I now want to be treated as a girl and I demand to wear the girl's uniform. And because I'm wearing the girl's uniform, I want to wear the, go to the girl's toilets. And while I'm in the girl's toilets, I want to go to the girl's changing rooms. And before you know it, the whole idea of having some separation between girls and boys will stop. Well, we should ask because Newtown High School of the Performing Arts in Sydney has actually implemented a full unisex uniform policy where boys can wear girls' clothes, girls can wear boys. So it'd be interesting to see how that's going for them. All right, 9690693. But are we forgetting that the reason we have boys and girls uniforms is that there are some differences between boys and girls. There is not one gender, there are two. Of course there is, Tom. And as I said, it comes back to choice. So if you really oppose it, you don't have to put your kids in those clothes. I think it's about comfort for the kids. I don't think it's stripping a, a girl of her femininity in any way. But if a little girl wants to hop on a monkey bar and hang upside down without showing her undies and she feels more comfortable in shorts, so be it.